Google recently announced their latest text-to-video AI tool, Lumiere, to the public, which is based on a new diffusion model called Space-Time UNet. I'm going to share more with you in a moment, but keep watching because I will compare Lumiere's capabilities to other diffusion models to see how they stack up against each other. With almost all image-to-video models, Lumiere starts with a prompt, but one of its unique abilities to generate videos is that it does it with 80 frames versus other other diffusion models which typically use 25. Lumiere does this by figuring out where things are in a video and how they change over time, which allows Lumiere to create the video all at once instead of stitching together smaller frames like I had mentioned a moment ago. According to their research paper, which I'll drop a link to in the description, Lumiere outperforms some of the top text-to-video models like Pika, Stable Video Diffusion, and Runway ML Gen 2. I'm going to show you some comparisons comparisons against these models, but in a moment, I want to share with you Lumiere's other capabilities. Lumiere can create a video from just an image. There are examples here that are very impressive. For example, the movement of the giraffe's mouth as it chews its food. And then another one we have here is this car that's driving along the beach and its wheels are in motion as the sand is kicked up around the tires. There are some examples that look like computer graphics, such as the Bigfoot example or the skeleton, but it's impressive to see how quickly progress is being made. Lumiere has the capability of generating videos based on a specific image style. Here's a series of videos being created based off of an image that is just 3D style. Here is another one with a neon look. And here is another one based off of a watercolor painting. Lumiere has the capability of reinterpreting existing videos and completely changing them. You'll notice in the first column on the left we have the original video, but all subsequent columns to the right are dynamically changing the video into whatever image style it's given. For the next column it's making it into a set of wooden blocks, origami, toy colorful bricks, and one that and the other series of images that are made out of flowers. Much like other image models, Lumiere can take an existing image, adjust a section of it, and turn that section into an animated video similar to Runway ML's Magic Brush feature. And you can see examples here where they're taking the smoke from the train and the smoke is now billowing out of the top and the fire on the beach along with the water and the butterfly. Lumiere can also do video in painting. The examples provided show a portion of the video that was removed and Lumiere fills them back in with minimal distortion. Another example is the ability to make changes to portions of an existing video. You can see the examples shown in the first column on the left are the original and as we look to the other columns we can see that for this woman walking in this field and this, her dress color and style is being changed and for the owl and the bird they're being the images are being regenerated in order to give them funny little props which can accompany their overall look. This feature is similar to what Adobe has showcased with their own generative AI platform called Firefly. Let's get into some comparisons. So here's an aerial view of colorful fireworks that are exploding in the night sky. Let's see how Pika does this. The video appears to be a bit grainy and doesn't give a sense of a clear crisp video. Here's what Runway Gen 2 created. Runway's interpretation definitely looks better than Pika's. It's clear and has a real sense of realism. Here's this one, which is a red Lamborghini Aventador coming around the bend in a mountain road. Here's what Pika created. There's no real motion happening. You can see that it's just zooming towards the Lamborghini itself. Here's Runway Gen 2. The interpretation is better than Pika's, but it doesn't look as though the wheels are turning when the car is in motion. Here's another one, a golden retriever puppy running in the park, autumn beautiful leaves on the ground. But as you can see, the motion is not that lifelike in comparison to the leaves and how the, the golden retriever moves. I'm curious to see how Pika and Runway interpret this one. Here's what Pika put together. I had high hopes for this one once the interpretation was finished, but as it's being played, you can clearly see that another golden retriever is morphing out of the original dog's trail, so not quite as expected. Here's Runway's version. I really love this interpretation, but unfortunately the golden retriever is almost floating and its feet never hit the ground. I know in Runway one can increase the amount of motion and the length and whatnot, but doing this wouldn't be a fair comparison to the other models that are just using their default settings. Google's Lumiere is really impressive, and I'm hoping they make this language model available to the public soon. If you're interested in learning more about other AI tools and competing language models, I have a video with 37 different tools. You can watch that video right here.